So today let's look at one of the more mind warping security stories of the recent past and it's to do with Symantec and their inability to get SHA-2 algorithms into their products or really to put it another way Symantec spent an awful lot of time being unable to do some pretty basic programming and the end result is that at the moment users on Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2 are sitting there without some Microsoft security updates, which isn't the best place in the world to be. So let's go back to the start of this. And it begins here in February 18. Now, Microsoft says SHA-1 been a good algorithm to sign packages with, but it's on its way out. It's becoming too easily crackable. We need to step it up to the SHA-2 family. And that's exactly what they said, as, as he highlighted right here, February 18, because we need to keep that in mind because we're fast forwarding now to this month. And Microsoft have a little notice here that on August 13, they released their first set of packages signed only with SHA-2. But buried in amongst all this text is this little, this little passage right here in the table. And so what it says is Microsoft and Symantec, they identified an issue that when a device is running Symantec security software, that they've got a problem signing. They've got a problem validating the signature. Now, to put that another way, Symantec simply can't do SHA-2. They, it's not there. They've had six months to get there. Nothing's been added. And so consequently, Microsoft took the decision to withhold security updates from those devices. Now for its part, Symantec puts out this report. And basically this is a lot of wording that basically says, we haven't done it. You know, that they've had six months and this is basic programming. This is one method call from SHA-1 to some Whatever framework you're using, you should have a SHA-2 family sitting in there to be able to call upon to validate signatures. It's quite simple. But at the bottom of this, you can see that Symantec says it's going to update this notice when the updates arrive, and we're pretty much a week later when we're filming this, and none of them are there. And probably not going to be there for another couple of weeks. And so that's, that's our favorite story because it is so simple yet the consequences are quite dire compared to the fix. The fix is a couple of lines of code, really, or even just changing the existing ones that are there. And yet, if you're on Windows 7 and you run North Antivirus, you're hoping you don't get caught because if these, whatever Microsoft is patching, does leave you vulnerable and oh, slow, cap, slow claps for Symantec on this one, slow claps.